Here's your hint for number two. So here we have the motor attached to a second pulley that's spinning a saw blade. Now this is very similar to the last problem we did where we had the pedals turning a sprocket, turning a big wheel. Similar concept. So the thing that's connecting the two is the pulley in this case. It has the same speed, or I'm sorry, the belt has the same speed all along that. Okay. And then what's common over here is the pulley and the saw blade have the same omega value. And our goal is to find the speed of those teeth on that saw blade. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to know the radius of the saw blade, which they give to me, and how fast it's rotating angularly. So my goal is to find this omega, so I'm going to have to find the omega of the pulley. Well, in order to find the omega of the pulley, I'm going to need to know the speed of the belt, which is related to the angular velocity of the motor. Okay, so here's our goal. So we start here, and we want to essentially set these two things equal to each other, solve for omega. And when we do this, let's think about that. So I have omega times r, and this is the motor is equal to the omega of the pulley times r over 3. And what do I have on both sides of my equation there? I have that r, so that cancels out for us. You should then be able to find the omega for the pulley. Once you know the omega for the pulley, plug it in for the omega for the blade and solve for the speed of those teeth on the edge of the blade. There's your hint.